everyone, so today I'm going to be talking to you about cream blushes. I first saw this video um, from XX Makeup is Cool XX, and she is such a sweet girl. I love her videos. Link to her channel in the description box. Um, but basically, cream blushes are very good to use in the summer. Oh, and before I go any further, um, link to this tutorial, you know bronze summer tutorial in the description box and I hope you guys enjoy that. So, cream blushes are very good to use in the summer. Um, first of all, they are very blendable. Um, so, if you get a very bright color um, wherever you're buying it, it's not going to be that scary. It's, it's not going to make you look like a clown when you apply it. I mean, obviously when you first apply it, yeah. But you can blend it easily with your fingers or a brush, whichever you prefer using. And, um, so it's very versatile. And there are so many different shades, uh, you know, for all different skin tones. And these are just very good to use because they sink into your skin and stay there. You know, they, um, the color stays for a longer amount of time than powder blush. However, I recommend applying a cream blush then a powder blush it not only makes the color pop a little more but it makes it last even longer because it's like you're setting your blush similar to how you'd set your foundation with powder so that's just an idea um, so the ones I own are Revlon cream blush in 09 rosy glow and there's a swatch of it and again you blend it out. See? Next, I have this new NYC Blushable Cream Stick, and I own it in Plaza Pink. Next, I have two blushes from the Dream Mousse Blush Collection from Maybelline. The first one I owned was 20 Peach Satin. And these are basically a cream blush, but they are of mousse texture, so they're a little different than the other ones that, um, that I own. And basically all of these have a little bit of shimmer in them, just so you know. And the next one I own is 30 Whipped Strawberries. And so the swatches are, this one is Peach Satin, this one's Whipped Strawberries, as you can see. Looks a little scary, but you blend out this one, it's totally fine. You blend out this one, do you see how it gives you a nice glow and it's not scary after all? So that's pretty fun. And this one is technically not a cream blush, it's a liquid blush, but I kind of, it does the same thing as a cream blush. This is by Alme. It's Nearly Naked Touch Pad Liquid Blush. And this is in Peach Au Naturale 02. So basically you touch the touch pad and it's right here. And it gives you a little sheen of blush. It's kind of um, more frosty looking than shimmery. If you can tell, it's kind of frosty looking. Um, and this one I actually like to apply with a makeup sponge. And lastly I have this um, mini blush from the UK when I got a package from my friend in the UK. And it is a very mini blush. I mean this is the Dream Matte Mousse. And this is it. So I use my finger and it's kind of a coppery tone. It's actually a very interesting color. But again, it's very blendable, and it has a nice sheen to it as well. So those are all the cream blushes that I own. Um, as you can tell, they are all drugstore brands, actually, so they are very affordable. And, um, you know, I never have tried out a high-end cream blush. Um, I'm not against it, but I really, really like the cream blushes at the drugstore, so I don't think that there's a need to get high-end ones. So tell me what you think of any of these that you've seen today, and I hope this video was helpful to you, and um, I really believe that these are very good to have during the summer. Um, I don't recommend one 
specifically over the others. However, if you want to get the cheapest but still good quality, I recommend the NYC Blushable Cream Stick. These are about three dollars, and um, you know there's a lot of product in here, and they work really well. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye.